Hello everyone, my name is Lem Turner. I'm a brand evangelist here at Helium 10 and today we're going to be getting into how you can automatically request product reviews using follow-up. So let's get into it. So one of the first things we're going to want to do is get into our dashboard right here, right within follow up. We're going to be able to see all sorts of different pieces of data here. But what we're going to want to go to first is on the left side, we're going to click into automation. And then once we click on automation, we're going to want to click on new automation button. And then from there, we can go ahead and get started. But for this specific example, we're going to want to get into the request or review and seller feedback automation. Now, one of the first things we're going to notice here is that it says order delivered. Notice how it doesn't say order shipped or it doesn't say order confirmed. The only trigger we're going to have for this template is order delivered in order to stay compliant with Amazon's terms of service. Now, once the order is delivered, we have one of our rules here, which is wait for seven days. This is an arbitrary number, seven days. But what is going to happen is after seven days, it's going to send your customer automatically a request for review and seller feedback template, which is an Amazon template that they've developed and created. Now, let's get into how we edit this rule. If we want to wait seven days, six days, 21 days, etc. What Amazon's terms of service specifically say is that you must send a product review if you are going to send a product review between five to 30 days. Now, how we can edit this is we just go ahead and click onto that little pencil right here and we go ahead and click on that. From there, we're going to be able to edit it from between five to 30 days. Now, there's a little bit of strategy here in terms of what, how long you should wait in order to request a product review. And what you should be thinking about is what purpose does your product serve? Is the satisfaction or gratification instant or delayed? So for example, if I'm selling a letter opener and they receive the product, I'm likely going to want to send my product review request within five to seven days, just because they're likely to be able to use that letter opener right away and get an idea of how effective that product is. Versus if I'm selling a supplement or a collagen peptide, something that's going to have a take a while in order to get an idea of the performance or the satisfaction of the product, I'm gonna likely wanna wait over, around over like 25, 26, 30, 29 days, right? So it really all depends on this, the result of your product in, in terms of is the satisfaction gonna be delayed or instant. From there, we also see that one of our rules is the product, send the product review and seller feedback template. Now, this is an Amazon template, like I said earlier, but what does it lo exactly look like? Now we're going to see right here that this is what it looks like. This is the template that Amazon's created and subjects all sellers that utilize this service to use. So you see it says seller and then your store name would go here. Request you to share your experience for your recent order with other Amazon shoppers. Please take a moment to review your recent order. Amazon purchase. It'll put in the name of your product. It'll show you your product image. It'll also show your store name, which you, which customers can also be able to rate our experience with you as a seller. Now, keep in mind that Amazon has created this template. So because of that, it'll always stay hundred percent within Amazon's terms of service. And because this is using Amazon's template, it'll always be in a buyer's language of preference that they've set for their Amazon account as each marketplace has their own supported languages, and this will always translate it to the correct one. One of the things to also keep in mind is that this is the same, this process uh, within our automation of requesting review and seller feedback. This is the exact same as requesting a product review and seller feedback in Seller Central. So if they, so if you've already requested a review in Seller Central, follow-up will detect that and cancel it upon when it is sent, not when it is in queued status. Similarly, if you've already requested a product review in follow-up, Seller Central will detect that you've already requested a product review and tell you that it has already been requested. So now let's get into our filters. You notice that we have refunded orders excluded from this automation, meaning that when an order has been delivered, if a customer requests a refund on it, they will not be receiving this product review. And we just instantly put this on our all automations just because it's highly likely that a customer who has requested a refund is not gonna wanna leave a product review for your product. And if they do leave a product review for your product, it's likely not gonna be a positive one. So we're just gonna go ahead and not include them within this automation. Another thing that we have filtered for is for all orders to have a discount of less than 30%, meaning that we're not gonna send this automation to any orders that are above 30%. And the reason why that is, is because we don't wanna give Amazon any reason to flag any accounts for possibly offering discounts in return for ratings. Now, not to say that this is gonna automatically do that, but if we want to avoid being on Amazon's radar for any sort of reason, this is a good way to go. So we just include that there as well. 
Another filter that we could possibly add into, which is a quality over quantity type of strategy, is targeting repeated buyers. Now, if we target repeat buyers, we're going to be going after buyers who buy from us after a second, third, or fourth purchase. Now, why would I want to do this? The reason why is let's say I have a thousand ratings. I have plenty of ratings and reviews, but so I'm not necessarily worried about the quantity. However, my star rating is a 3.9 and I'm really looking to bring that up to a 4.0 to get four stars, or I'm looking to bring my 4.4 to a 4.5. At that point, I'm only focused on gathering highly rated product reviews. And if I want to be able to do that, this is a strategy to do that because if I'm only sending this automation to customers who buy from me the second, third, fourth, or whatever time, then it's highly likely that that means they are highly satisfied with my product. They are loyal to my brand and they enjoy my item that I'm selling. So that means that if I were to target that subsection of my customer base, that's a positive one to be targeting because they're probably going to leave you a good and positive uh, review. So with that in mind, that's one of the well, that's one of the strategies that you can t take in order to increase the quality of your product reviews. Now, some other things to keep in mind is that Amazon's review requests will not show up in your sent messages in your message center in Seller Central, nor will it show up in messages sent when you're looking at the dashboard. It's going to show up as reviews requested. Now, once we have everything settled here and we feel comfortable with our automations at, we're going to go ahead and click on save. And once we click on save, it's going to show us this t page right here. What it's going to show us is all the stuff that it's going to be that Helium 10 is doing for us to make sure that we are within Amazon's terms of service and that we are compliant. Most of this messaging applies mostly for custom message templates. However, in this case, since we're using a request a review template, the Helium 10 is telling us that they will make sure we don't request a product review more than once for any order. And if it does look like we've done that, then they will cancel the duplicate request in order to prevent us from violating Amazon's terms of service, which is super helpful. Then after we, we have reached this point, we just go ahead and click on save and activate. And there we go. We've set up our first request review and seller feedback automation. That's it for this one. If you have any more questions, we'll see you on the next one.